In this video, we're going to set up the Google Assistant integration with the Cast Web API, which will allow you to send broadcasts to all of your Google Assistant devices all at once. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check out the video description for the three simple steps to get started. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we've already set up our cast web API on our desktop computer, and we got it working with smart things. And we have added our Google devices into smart things as a device. And what that allows us to do is use those devices in automations. But what if you wanted to broadcast something over all of your Google devices? Well, you can do that by setting up the Google Assistant integration. So what that will do is it will broadcast to all of your Assistant enabled devices on your network. To test it out, you can just say, hey, Google, broadcast, this is a test message. And then what Google will do is broadcast that message to all of your devices. So to get this set up, what we need to do is we need to go to this IP address in a browser window. So if you hover over this, you can click on copy. And what you wanna do is copy that, click on copy, and then you want to paste it into your browser. And then once you do that, what you want to do is you want to add this at the end. Add a slash assistant slash setup. And I'm gonna put that in the video description so you can just, you know, copy and paste it. And then you just need to follow this guide. So there's basically three different steps that we need to complete. Step one, we need to get an API ID in secret. Then we need to um, set up the API client ID in secret here. And then we just need to authorize it. What we need to do is just click on follow this guide. So when we come over to the follow the guide, we just need to go down these steps here. So the first thing we need to do is go to the actions console. So we're just going to right click and click open a new tab. That way we don't lose this tab. And then what we want to do is create a new project. So we're going to click on new project and just agree to the terms of service and click agree and continue and just put in a project name. Just na name it cast web API. That way you know what it goes to. And then you're going to want to choose your language and your region. And then once you have everything complete, click on create project. And now what we need to do is enable the API. So we're going to open that up. And at the top here, you just want to choose your project. So when it comes up, it's going to go into your recent projects. But what you might want to do is go over to all. And here you can see the cast web API. So we're going to tap on that. And then what we need to do is enable the Google Assistant API. All right, so now you can see that we have our Cast Web API up here in the top and the Google Assistant API here. So now what we need to do is click on credentials on the left and click on configure consent screen. And choose external and click create. So up here in the application name, it's just signed us a random one. So we're going to call this cast web API. And you'll also have to choose an email address. And then you can go all the way to the bottom and click on save. Now we can click on credentials. And at the top, choose create credentials. And choose OAuth client ID here. And you're just going to choose a type. Desktop app is fine. Type in for the name, Cast Web API. And then click create. And then this is your client ID and client secret. So now what we can do is go back 
to, let's just click on the copy here. And we're going to go back to our setup here at the top. And we're going to paste in our client ID. And then we can go back and we're going to go to client secret, copy that, come back, paste it in and then click on save. So we've completed step one and two. And now all we have to do is click on authorize. And then you will just sign in with your Google account. And then you just want to allow this here. And then just make sure this is checked and click on allow. Now it's going to give you another code. You just need to click on the copy here on the right hand side. Go back to the instructions and paste in your OAuth code here. And click on save. And now it says at the top you are all set. Now you can select the Cast Web API device in your SmartThings app as a device for reading out messages. Remember, only speech synthesis capabilities, e.g. speak, is supported. Okay, so now we have everything set up. We just need to test it. So I am in the Sharp Tools rule engine here, and I have my classic app open on the left-hand side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a rule, and to save time, I've already set one up called Google Broadcast Test. Now on your app, the devices show up as like a hollow logo. And then the device that is solid and three dimensional is the one that will do the announcements. So I have mine named dot Google cast. So when you go into that device, it looks like this. You have to use this one to use our new integration that we just sent up for the Google assistant. So just keep that in mind, you, you can't choose um, like the Google Office, which is the device right next to me. You have to choose your Google Cast device, um, which we renamed in the last video when we set up the Google Cast API integration with SmartThings. So let's go ahead and take a look at this rule here. So when we go into it, I just named it Google Broadcast Test. And I actually put a space in front of it so it shows at the top of the list. So this is going to use the Cast Web API to broadcast um, on our Google devices. And I'm just going to use my Sharp Tools Run Virtual Switch that I have set up already um, to when it changes to be on. Then it's going to use our Google Cast device to execute the speak command with this is an announcement. So let's go ahead and test that out. And we're just going to go over to our SmartThings app and let's turn off the virtual switch and then we'll turn it back on and it should do the announcement. Broadcast from Justin. This is an announcement. And there you can see it works. And that actually went on all of my devices that I have set up in the house. As you can see, this is going to be the easiest way to send speaking commands to all of your Google devices in SmartThings. So now you can use this integration in rules and automations and all kinds of different things. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and check out these other videos on the screen right now to get started building your ultimate smart home.